I've never been to a place this beautiful and fancy. We have what you call uh, cheese toast. So you've got a Parmesan custard, which comes attached with two subway biscuits, the little garnish on top there of uh, vegetable chutney, finishing off with pickled red onions. Next to it, we've got a beautiful uh, the chef's, our chef's version of uh, caprese salad. We have a base of crisp potato chip that is topped up with a uh, mozzarella mousse, finishing off there with tomato jelly on top. Please enjoy. Thank you. Ooh, oh no. So this is cheese. Oh, you ate one already. So good. <laughs> what is that gum? A cheese taco. Feel good? Yes, very yeah. good. Prime spot, eh? Yes, beautiful Lovely. Spot. <laughs> Are you guys on holiday? Yeah. Where are you from? Joburg. Joburg, nice. Yeah. Having a bay week. Yeah, we got mm. we got married, so. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Setting in sun. Let's cue the sunset. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a 2019 vintage, still pretty young, doing tremendously well with our dishes here, pairing so well with our first course, which is the braised beef Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Oh, oh, thank you. You have the braised beef. It's braised and shredded and mixed with granola. Okay. And on top you have your pickled mustard seeds and it's wrapped around a fragrant jelly with elements of thyme, ginger and rosemary. Serve with your creme de boeuf just to keep the dish together. What's creme de boeuf? It's cream with your pita jus. Oh. I don't know even how to eat this. <laughs> how did they wrap the meat, get the meat in this jelly thing? This beef tastes like um, chocolate. It's like chocolate with little beans on top of the wrap for the jelly thing. This is course one of five. <laughs> I'm still hungry. I've never had a five course meal before, so I'm interested to see how that works. It doesn't look like it's, it's gonna be much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how you get to five courses, because they give you like small, <laughs> Things, eh? <laughs> I'm used to one course that's real big. And I take a takeaway home. So the duck leg is rolled up in a pickled turnip and it is garnished with your orange gel and your rhubarb gel that the chef mixed with beetroot juice for some color and flavor. Mm -hmm. And on top it is garnished with your deep fried taffy and deep fried orange zest just to give it some crunchiness. Serve with a goose liver sauce. Thank you. So this sauce is literally from a goose liver sauce? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, we're gonna eat sauce from a goose's liver. This is literally like that movie, The Menu. Because they also mm. had very strange uh, dishes available. And you're like, why? Why, sir? It's 
mixing it with the wine makes me takes my guilt away. The fresh water bream. And next which you have your cauliflower puree. It's garnished with shimishi mushrooms and your red pepper paper. The chef made a puree out of the red pepper and then dried it out till it forms into a paper form. Serve with your tomato spice for the day. They don't mix up the food with like sides, veggies, potatoes, french fries. And just focus on the. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I like this a lot more than the beef and the duck. So, babe, there was no point during the hike yesterday where you were just like, I can't. So, that hike for me is easy. I need to do that with like a male friend. Like someone who I can be competitive with. Because one of the things is I didn't really enjoy it because you were so scared. No, I didn't enjoy it. No, I enjoyed it. the view. I enjoyed the top. But the hike itself, not really. Because it was like having like a... You know, someone you've got to be careful. Who's scared. <laughs> but I couldn't exert myself like how I do. Like I couldn't like run fast. Really Why would you want to run on Lion Tad? That's just like. Because I, I find things like that fun. Like, that's my love language. That was not fun. <laughs> this is fun. This is course number four. The one that's gonna fill me up. Thank you. Pre dessert. So, have you pistachio sponge? Raspberry jacket, and on top it is garnished with your sablé disc and your citrus pistachio dollops with raspberry gel. Mm. And for you, sir, you have our version of the Oreo. So you have your cocoa sablé with your nama leaf inside, and on top you have your passion fruit gel. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know he's coming. Notes. I'm starting to feel full, but like a nice full, not like a <laughs> stuffed full. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not gonna be nice if you take a chunk of it. You need. I enjoyed my dessert. Shout out to pre dessert. The name of the first time I've had pre dessert. <laughs> <laughs> pre -de yeah, this is the pre dessert. The real dessert is coming. And the service is impeccable. You won't get this kind of attention anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one cares about you more than the people here. Yeah. I'm all the pudding of salt. Fancy small the pudding I will ever have. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious, guys. Unlike that treacherous hike, I can rate this activity a ten. Maybe like a 15 out of 10. The service is spectacular and good service is hard to come about in South Africa, okay? Cause people don't care about service here. The service is incredible. Food was good, very good. Dessert was incredible. We're taking home a bottle of wine like I'm buzzing like a bumblebee I'm having a great time and we're just gonna like spend time walking around and chilling until this buzz is gone and then we will go home 
I might end the vlog here because I know we have some family coming in. A literally a coincidence that everyone is here in Cape Town at the same time. So I think I may make that a completely separate video, like, you know, family time in Cape Town. How y'all doing out there this evening, the afternoon, or whatever time it is when you're watching this? Wow, guys, this is why I love living in South Africa. It's so beautiful. This venue is so beautiful and great minds think alike because all the people you see down there with their gear and cameras are from Netflix. Netflix is out here getting content too, so that's why I can take you downstairs and show you the rest of the venue, but I definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one. Bye!